Good morning. Today I've got my Super Tiger G3000 engine installed on my stand. Now this engine was supposed to be the subject of a box to the bench run yesterday and I had it to the stand, connected to the stand just like this also. But I was not able to even get it started. Uh, my electric starter just really doesn't have the muscle to turn this thing over. So what I ended up doing was kind of tore this engine down and did a look inside, found that the ring was compressed so I loosened that up so it's uh, not compressed anymore so this thing has got a lot better compression now I'm hoping that I'll be able to hand start it if I can't hand start it I'm not gonna be able to run it unless I find a larger starter borrow one because I'm not gonna invest in one so I've got an 18.6 prop mounted which might be a little light for this engine but it's the only it's the largest prop I've got I've got a McCoy MC 59 glow plug I've got a tank full of Morgan's 5% Omega, and this engine came with this Pitts muffler. Now my history with Pitts mufflers has always been that when you have both ports open, it's just too open of an exhaust and it doesn't provide enough back pressure. So I uh, kind of whittled down a piece of balsa and just jammed it in there and super glued it. So if I can get this thing running, keep an eye out for this lower port because you might see that thing just fly out of there. But uh, let's give this a shot and see if we can get it to run.
say. Holy crap! I saw a peak reading at 90 30 RPM, but it was really happy around 84 60. As you could see at the last point there, or last half, I disabled all my safety devices and allowed it to do a static thrust reading. And it was generating a static thrust over 17 pounds. This is a beast. This is by far the largest engine I've ever had on this stand, the largest engine I've ever owned, the largest engine I've ever run. At 1.8 cubic inches, it's a monster. It would appear that it takes quite a bit of prime to get it going, but as you can see, I was able to hand start it, and it runs pretty goddamn nice. I didn't even go through half of that tank of fuel, so I'm probably going to let it cool down here and uh, run it again, because man, that thing is fun. And my plug didn't uh, come shooting out of the exhaust either. Now, this adapter, there's an adapter plate on this thing that whoever, somebody made, it's not factory made, made, and when I took this apart the first time, took the exhaust off the first time it had sealant on there and there is a leak because that's how this thing got all nasty looking so I'm probably gonna spray it down with alcohol uh, so it looks alright so it looks better but thing idles really well transitions really good and it's got a nice top end I don't know what an 18.6 what it should turn an 18.6 but I wasn't gonna try and make it go any more than 8460 and as you can see I kept richening it up a little bit but damn, <coughs> this is one cool engine. Thank you for watching.